क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 सेज अ शेल ऑफ मास 100 ग्राम इज फायर्ड फ्रॉम अ गन ऑफ मास 2 केजी द केमिकल एनर्जी ऑफ एक्सप्लोसिव व्हिच कन्वर्ट्स इनटू काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज 8.4 किलो जूल्स द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ मोमेंटम ऑफ द गन जस्ट आफ्टर द फायरिंग इज डियर स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन द गन फायर्स अ शेल देन वी कैन राइट डाउन दैट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द मोमेंटम ऑफ द गन should be equal to the magnitude of the momentum of the shell this comes from the conservation of linear momentum dear students let the momentum be equal to p also we can write down that p square by 2 into mass of gun plus p square by 2 into mass of shell should be equal to the kinetic energy this is because that p square by 2m is the kinetic energy for any pass on substituting the given values we can write down that p square by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 0.1 is equal to 8.4 into 10 raised to power 3 on solving this expression we get a value of p to be equal to 40 newton seconds dear students therefore the magnitude of the momentum of the gun should be equal to 40 newton second that is option number 3 question number 17 says a car of mass m is driven by a power p is equal to kt where k is a constant and t is time if car starts from rest then the force acting on the car at time t is dear students the power can be also written as f multiplied by the velocity where f is the force and dear students the integral of power with time is equal to the work done that is equal to the change in kinetic energy which will be equal to half mv square if the car starts from rest on substituting the expression of p as kt we can write down that half kt square is equal to half mv square therefore v would be equal to under root of k by m into t Now, dear students, on substituting the value of v in this expression, we can write down that p would be equal to f into k by m into t, which means that f would be equal to p multiplied by m by k into one by t. On substituting the value of p as k t in this expression, we can further simplify it as k t multiplied by m by k into one by t, which will be equal to under root of mk and as the correct answer for this particular question is option number 3 now let us proceed to the question number 18 question number 18 says the variation of force f acting on a body moving along x axis varies with its position x as shown in figure the body is in neutral equilibrium at point dear students at an equilibrium the value of del u by del x that is the magnitude of force should be equal to 0 also the double differentiation of the potential energy that is del square u by del x square that is the differentiation of force should be 0 as well we can easily see that del f by del x is the slope of force position graph we can easily see that at point q and p which are the points of equilibrium where force is 0 the slopes are not 0 and hence p and q are not neutral equilibriums also r cannot be a neutral equilibrium because the force itself is not zero at that point and hence none of these points is the point of neutral equilibrium which makes option number 4 of this question as the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 19 question number 19 says a point mass m is attached with a massless string of length l whose other end is fixed and free to rotate in a vertical plane at the lowest point it is given a horizontal velocity root 4 gl acceleration of particle at the instant when the string becomes horizontal is dear students in this particular question when the particle is suspended vertically it is given a horizontal speed root 4 gl the particle would move in a circle and when the string becomes horizontal let the speed be v we can find out the value of p using the principle of conservation of mechanical energy that is half mv square would be equal to half m initial velocity that is root 4 gl square minus 
M G L, which means, dear students, that V would be equal to under root of 2 G L. At this point, the bob will have two accelerations. One will be tangential, that will be due to the weight, that is G. And one will be centripetal, that will be due to the tension and would be equal to V square by L. This is the centripetal acceleration. The centripetal acceleration therefore can be written as V square by L, which will be equal to 2G. And the tangential acceleration AT would be equal to G. The resultant acceleration would be Pythagoras addition of these two accelerations, which will be equal to under root of 5 multiplied by G. And hence the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now let us proceed to the question number 20. Question number 20 says a particle is given a horizontal velocity of root g r by 4 at the topmost point of a fixed smooth sphere of radius r as shown in figure. The angle theta with the upward vertical where radius vector of particle makes when particle loses contact with the sphere is given by. Dear yes, students, let us assume the particle loses contact at an angle theta. Using the principle of conservation of mechanical energy, we can write down that the velocity at this point v, that we can write that v square is equal to u square plus 2gh, where u is the initial velocity as given in the question. Dear students, here h would be equal to r 1 minus cos theta. So, on substituting, we can write that v square would be equal to gr by 4 plus 2gr 1 minus cos theta. Now, dear students, at the point of losing the contact, we can write down that mg cos theta minus n would be equal to mv square by r. Now, if the particle loses contact, n becomes 0. So, therefore, we can write that mg cos theta would be equal to mv square by r. Let this be the first equation and this be the second equation. On solving these two equations, we can find out that cos theta will be equal to 3 by 4. Therefore, theta will be equal to cos inverse 3 by 4. And hence, option number 1 is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 21. 